That was a quick clip taken from last month's Champions livestream of me discussing the importance of the 6th of April and how we can expect a break of our range on this day. As you can see, these are some of the comments uh, discussing the 6th and how we are likely to remain range bound till there. And also me, uh, my comments of, you know, why I am waiting for the 6th of April before I take a trade. And I want to go into this chart and show you how the breakout came. As you can see, we we're range bound, range bound. We move into the 6th of April here and that is where we got the breakout to where we are now. So if we zoom in here slightly, all we can see is our parallel channel, okay? Obviously, when we were coming to the low of this parallel channel, that was off the back of our swing fire pattern of the high. We obviously come down into this channel, form our range, and then we are breaking out of it here. And we break out of the channel, we back test it as support, and we move on to the yearly open. So this is now where the psychology in the market comes into play. And this is what I was explaining to the group yesterday. What we saw was so many people opening shorts at this yearly open. It was a very crowded short, you know, the majority of people going into short positions here. So I love to play the contrarian and, you know, I view this as a good long opportunity. What you want to push on higher, one of the ingredients needed is for, you know, the majority to be bearish. So, you know, I was explaining to the champions that I would have gone into a long position and that my buy wall is at 7,080. And as you can see here, you actually hit 7,080 once, twice, three times, four times here before pushing on higher to where we are now being a weekly level and uh, you know that is now just you know highlighting to you the importance of the psychology in the market and you know you know tr generally you don't want to be trading with what the majority are doing and uh, this was the update that I gave uh, at 11.30 on Friday so if I show you 11.30 on Friday that was here where we were at the top of the range still after this swing failure pattern and obviously we're starting to come down bearishly here and I gave as a level by the way 6,600 as my key horizontal support level that you know you kind of want to see held held if you're a bull and as you can see here funnily enough we came down to 6,600 and we held it to the exact dollar not once but twice that is a double bottom at 6,600 exactly before we come on and push up higher here and also in that trading update I was explaining you know with the market very bearish because of this swing failure pattern in my opinion that was an ingredient needed to push up again higher and what did we do there we obviously double bottom 6600 and we have now you know clearly pushed on higher so you know that was a video just showing you how firstly invaluable Fibonacci time is so amazing so 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 amazing love Fibonacci time and then on top of that, you know, realizing that the psychology in the market is also very important, uh, you know, to be able to read that and trade off of that is, you know, obviously an invaluable skill as well. Uh, so if you're interested in like getting these like real time updates, uh, you know, and then learning how I trade on top of this, then uh, then you can come across to Chart Champions and there is so much educational content that you can take from this uh, as well as, you know, seeing how I'm trading. So if you're interested in that, we'll happily see you over in the mentorship. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a brilliant day and you've enjoyed this talk through of the price action that we have had over the last few days here so yeah thanks everybody cheers and goodbye